right, today guys, I'm gonna show you how to do three fancy moves that a beginner can learn. So when I first started learning Muay Thai, some of the things I've watched on YouTube, I'm like, when am I gonna be able to do that? But actually, there's a few moves, three moves that you can do as a beginner and that are easy to do. All right, let's go. First one is gonna be the Superman punch. This one, you see it in the UFC. But Superman punch is actually quite easy to do. So first, what we're gonna do is be in our stance. The Superman punch, is actually just going to be you lifting up your rear leg and then extending your leg as you extend your punch. So if we do it in real time and then if you do it as a fast in motion shot, you're going to lift the leg really quickly so you get some air time like you're doing Super Mario. Like that. So from here, Done. Okay, so we're going to lift this leg really fast, really high, and extend our leg and our arm at the same time. I suggest trying out these strikes with a partner on the pads, get a feel for the movement and then you can try setting it up in a combo. Here we're going to set up the Superman punch with a jab cross rear teep and another jab cross, but this time going into the Superman punch while faking the rear teep. Next one is the hitch kick, and the hitch kick is kind of like a flying roundhouse. So you see this a lot in Kung Fu movies, but it's actually not the way that you do it in a video game like Super Street Fighter. So what we're doing is a normal roundhouse kick. Goes around. But we're gonna add a hitch. So we're gonna bring this knee up and then when you're in mid-air, we do the roundhouse. Like that. So we're gonna bring this knee up out. So first step is just like the Superman punch, you're going to bring this up high and then turn your hips over like a normal roundhouse. Again, do some single strikes for the hitch kick on the pads so you can get the timing correct. To set up the hitch kick in a combo, we're going to start with the jab cross and lead teep, much like the previous combo. Then we're going to add another jab cross and you guessed it into the hitch kick, but faking the lead tip. Add some spinning stuff into this. So the easiest one I can think of is the spinning elbows. And he was absolutely so what we're gonna do is we're gonna start off in your normal stance. And all you're gonna do is just take your rear leg, step forward, and then bring your elbow up, look around, and back. So you can bring this rear leg a bit more forward so you're almost stepping over your lead leg. Spin around, like that. That's as easy as it gets. And you can do it also for the lead side but you gotta take that lead leg step. Spin. Okay. Spinning movements can be hard to coordinate at first, so take your time to really get the footwork correct. One thing that really helps is to look in the direction that you're going to strike in, and that would help to coordinate your balance. To put the spinning elbow into a combo, we're gonna use the same sequence with a jab cross, then jab and going straight into the spinning elbow. I've used the jab cross to set up all three strikes as it is the most easiest to go to, but you can use any other strikes that you like and you can be creative with it. It is not likely that you're gonna use elbows in sparring, but it's quite fun to add it into some pad work. Rachel is much better than I am at spinning as she's a former dancer. 
and it doesn't take much for her to move fluently in this strike. Make sure you try both sides of the spinning elbow to figure out which one you prefer. If you found this video helpful, give it a like and subscribe to the channel for more beginner tips. See you guys on the next video.